Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to talk to you guys about the recent supposed leak of Call of Duty 2017. Now, if you guys haven't heard of this last night on Twitter, someone posted a bunch of images showing the supposed COD 27 leak, and it was a main menu, and a bunch of other stuff like that, and the title is called People's Army, and uh, like I said, I did see all these images and videos uh, last night, and I knew that it was fake from right then and there, but then uh, the next morning I saw a lot of people freaking out on Reddit and Twitter because of Charlie Intel also reported this, and over on Reddit, a lot of people were, were saying that this was in fact real, this was in fact going to be the next Call of Duty, uh, but it actually is fake guys because, I mean, we always get videos and images of the of the new supposed Call of Duty leak every time around this uh, time of year actually. And every time this happens, there's always a lot of people within the Call of Duty community that fall victim to this. I've fallen victim to uh, this fake hype before and it really does suck and I hope that there is maybe going to be some type of punishment for this for the people that do this. Uh, if you guys didn't know, the Twitter actually got shut down. The guy that leaked all these, uh, leaking quotations marks the guy that leaked this on his twitter account it all got shut down so that's a good thing but i really wish there was some type of harsher punishment for this because it really doesn't look good on call of duty's name and it just overall it, it just creates a lot of hype around the community and then uh for it to get shut down like that really is a bad thing but uh, yeah, honestly guys, around this time of year, there's always going to be a lot of people that are going to fake images or videos of the next Call of Duty. But usually whenever some supposed leak comes up for the next Call of Duty, it's really easy to tell that it's fake. Maybe because of like a text or something that's really obvious. I don't know, it's it just really obvious to tell because there's little mistakes like spelling errors, for example. It's pretty funny that uh, some of the people that make these leaks can't even spell the fucking words right. But the reason why this image is fake is because the bottom half of the main menu was taken from a Battlefield game and it was literally just copied copied and pasted on the video like that's how fucking lazy that uh, these people were they they just copied and pasted a fucking image from a battlefield game and uh, see so yeah, like I said it is kind of easy to tell the differences of a leak image and a real image uh, or video even for that matter like like I said there's always going to be spelling errors and just little stuff like that it's pretty easy to tell so don't fall victim to the uh, fake hype or just any leaks and any stuff like that usually we get leaked information about the next call of duty sometime around March there's going to be like a few trusted sources within the call of duty community or just the gaming community in general that actually reported legitimate information i know one of them is shinobi i'll link his twitter down in the description but that guy's been right on a lot of stuff for call of duty and uh, yeah that's really the only guy that i've trusted for for leaked information regarding call of duty so i i follow him i i always read his tweets about call of duty and just anything he has to post about the game in general i'm always looking at him uh, but yeah, guys, there's going to be a lot of stuff coming up that might be fake Call of Duty news, so do not fall victim to the hype. Just take everything with a grain of salt, guys. If you get anything out of this video, just, uh, you know, be mindful of the uh, the fake hype around the next year's Call of Duty. And even within the future of Call of Duty games, there's always going to be fake hype. There's always going to be fake images and videos, so do not fall victim to that. I've fallen victim to that. And I've also reported on, uh, you know, leaked images and videos, supposed leaked images and videos. And then when it all turns out to be fake, you know, you basically just got a lot of people's hopes up and for it to be shut down it really is a sad thing to do so i see a lot of other younger youtube channels out there that uh, report literally any fake leaks and uh, videos out there and try to generate a lot of hype around the game but then when it turns out to be fake you know they're basically letting a lot of their viewers down and their subscribers so it really does suck again i've done this before when i was a lot younger in my uh, youtube channel days but i've become a lot smarter and it's pretty easy to tell you know what's fake and what's not so again guys this image this video of call of duty's people's army it is fake do not believe it at all but if the images and the video were in fact true then activision would have been quick to shut down the entire uh, videos and images that were leaked on reddit youtube and twitter etc but the reason why this twitter account got shut down was actually because he reported false information and false news and uh, twitter's quick to ban people that do that especially when it bro when it blows up and gets a lot of hype like this so there was a guy that posted uh, a supposed black ops 2 image on the xbox backwards compatibility and and his twitter got shut down as well so um, yeah, like I said, guys, it is pretty easy to tell the difference between what's real and what's fake, etc. So, uh, yeah, drop a like on the video, guys, if you did enjoy, and comment your thoughts about this image and the video down in the comments. And uh, let me know what you guys think about this as well. And, yeah, thank you for watching. I'm a vert. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll catch you guys later.